My goal is to win this game and make Brandon suffer where he gets no counter. Plays down a pawn, much worse. And all that I want to do here is make him suffer. So queen a6, attack the pawn. A rook d4, I have f4, which by the way, I did not see at first glance. But uh, still winning. Lufty, Lufty, Lufthaven. It's Lufthansa, right? Isn't Okay, let's go here, guard the rook. Now it's c6 is weak. I'm just going to go to e5 and end this game. Still hitting 3300 seems unlikely. Yeah, I mean, it's not realistic. Uh, I'm just going to take. If he takes, I just take, take, and move the king. If he goes rook c8, I'll sack the queen for the two towers. Queen f5 doesn't really concern me. Mm, let's just go here, I guess, and queen b5. Two towers, too much. Wait, isn't this a blunder? Don't I have knight f4 here? Yeah, let's go here. He can't take to the pin. I mean, he has rook c8, I guess, but it's pretty, pretty miserable here. Suffering is, uh, is miserable, yeah. All right, let's play Brandon, try to push my... Oh, my, my rating? Oh, yeah, yeah, because I, I was not 3250. That's right. I, I was close and I lost that last game. So my new target is 3250 against Brandon. Let's see if I can get 18 points against Brandonian. So here in 87. This, of course, is terrible, but we'll play. I just go knight f6, standard stuff. Knight f6 castles. Uh, c4 is a move. I think I just developed castle here. He has bishop e3 and maybe knight c5. Well, thank you to Kugabook for the raid with 624. Thank you so much to Kugabook uh, for the raid. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, uh, what's it? Guten Nacht um, to everybody who's watching from uh, Germania. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Appreciate it. Playing some blitz here, trying to get to. Um, Get our rating up to 3,300 before we play Pistol Pete on Friday. It's not going to happen, of course, but uh, it's, wor it's worth the show. It's worth the price of admission. Uh, I think I'm going to go here and maybe C5 next move. He goes knight D2. I can play knight B6 to attack the pawn. I think I will, actually. Force uh, force Brandon to do something with this pawn. I don't know what he's going to do, but something. Yeah, I streamed the whole thing. Yes, I did stream the whole thing. Oh, so did Benjamin. Benjamin also streamed his entire puzzle, puzzle rush. Um... I mean, multiple ways to play. The C takes B5 is definitely not the right way to play it, but I'm going to do it because I want something that's double-edged. Oh, he's got knight C5. What the fridge was that? Oh, let's go here. Now I'm going to I'm gonna have to struggle to make a draw. Roddy had knight C5. Or I would have gone bishop F8 right away. Let's go here. Takes. Interesting capture by Brandon. Uh, obviously, I'm a little bit worse here, but I just don't know. I don't know how much worse I am. That's the question. How much worse am I after knight d7? I can go rook c8, maybe. Goes b4. Interesting choice. I'm not sure I, I agree with that move. Okay, I can just go king g7, I guess. I gotta be careful about c4 ideas here. Maybe I should have just gone knight f6 first to hit the pawn. Knight b6 is no good. Rook c6 is no good. Queen c6 is actually completely playable because everything's guarded here. I guard, I guard everything with the... Uh, trifecta yeah he goes bishop d2 okay i feel like i have a window here let's go here attack the pawn and now i've got rook d8 also there's a little bit of a window here for me to maybe do something benjamin is in bach yes dieser chat is nun eigentum der blunders republic deutschland um yes yeah okay let's go rook d8 target everything here he goes bishop e1. I don't really have a good move here. I'm so close to being better. Oh, maybe I just go here and bishop c7 and remove the rook. Let's remove the rook from, from a5. Okay, now I should be... Actually, I think I'm doing very well. I just go here and double up. I also have knight h5. I go rook d8. He still can... Oh, no, I check. Yeah, let's go here. Let's just go here. I should be completely fine now. I'm going to play h5. Um, How do I do this? Somehow I need to get my bishop. Let's go. Let's go here. Maybe bishop a7. Don't know why I did this. This was kind of stupid by me. Um, very, Maybe very stupid, actually. Let's go here. Maybe rook f6. Uh, I don't like what I've done at all. Bishop f2. We'll go here, maybe. I'm going to end up down a pawn, but I, mean, I figure I get some kind of counterplay at least. Go here on bishop b6, maybe. Try to trade off some bishops. 
Time is even, so it's not the end of the world. Here. Oh, I blundered rook to c1. Shoot. Go here. Still kind of okay, though. Can go queen a7, maybe? Force him to trade. Go rook b8 or e8. I guess I'll go here. Go here. He goes b5. Logical move. Time is time is actually quite tight here. Go here and rook e6, I guess. No, I misplayed this. Go here. I've got 96 still. Go here. Wait, that's a blunder. Brandon blundered his queen. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bl Brandon blundered his queen and the game kind of in a way here. He blundered, he blundered everything. So again, let's play e4. You can go bishop c4, probably d3. Keep it simple here. I'll go here. Go here. And it goes bishop e7. I'll play bishop g3 and just h3 and castles. Um, I'm just going to castle and take. I don't know if this is right, actually. This looks kind of wrong. But when in doubt, just play bad chess. When is my last stream before Aloha? That will be on um, Friday. I'll be streaming on Friday before I place the Viddler and then after I place the Viddler um, as well. So both days. Don't forget to hydrate. Yes, of course. This is the opening you two play all the time. Why all the time? Why not mix it up, man? Why not mix it up? Stop playing the same Vienna opening every game. Um, uh, uh, the fact is, we're, this is serious blitz chess, you guys. Um, but yeah. Actually, I should not have done this. Um, I forgot to get queen b6 here. I guess I'll just go b3. Maybe knight f4 and c4. And also go queen e3, maybe. Knight e2 is kind of interesting. How do I do this, though? I think what I need to do is I need to play against these double pawns somehow. Not really sure how. I think I'm going to go here. I mean, I have queen e3 at some point, maybe. I also go c4 and bishop c3. I think this is my idea, actually. This makes a lot of sense here. Uh, let's just go here target the queen oh no i blundered that i blundered shoot i'm gonna try this i don't know if it's right but it seems kind of on the edge of okay go here oh i had 92 which was better but oh well why did i do this actually i'm kind of confused I guess I have to... Why did I play this? This actually is ridiculously bad. I have to take and go here. I, I have rook c1. I can probably draw this, but very, very bad. It was there. I guess I play... Oh, I gave him c4, but then I have rook a6, maybe? Of course, I should have gone rook a6 in one move. Horrible. Not playing well. After after that after that that nice win, I'm proceeding to throw these games pretty hardcore. Let's just go. I think I will go rook a6 now. Maybe a knight a4. Maybe rook c1. Let's go here. Everything's kind of guarded. I guess I have knight a4 next move. This isn't good for me, but it's kind of kind of playable. A little bit of luck, I should be able to draw this. If I get more than a little luck, I might even win this. Because even though the material is even, there are problems here for black. Like, if I go... Actually, how do I do this? I have knight a4. I have some way to, some way to try and create a mess. I'm going to go here. Go here. I'm going to try to go knight a4 and bishop c5, maybe. I'm trying to confuse matters here and win. I'm trying really hard to win this game. I guess I'll go... 
Uh, the only way that I can win this game is probably if I get the um if I if I get a good knight. So that's why bishop c5 makes sense here. He goes there, but now I mean I go rook a1, and there are some problems. I'm threatening to take a seven is hanging. There are definitely problems for black here. Go back to c1. Go here. I trade and now I take the pawn. It's even material, but I do have a better pawn structure. So I'm gonna go f3, can coordinate the pawns. It's a bad move, but let's go here. Let's go here. I could have taken the pawn actually. Why don't I take just take the pawn? Go here, maybe knight before. Here I've got rook a7, I guess. I think I'm gonna win this game. It's the time situation, most likely. Let's go check. Go here, attack the pawn. And this, I also have knight of5 here. I've got check, rook c8. Oh, do I blunt? Wait, I go here and king h1. Blundered. Need a little finch for the six months. Thanks so much for a little finch. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's go d5. Keep it simple. Um, let's play c5. Let's play. Let's play d4. Oh, he's gonna do this one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go g6 and bishop g7. I guess. I don't know if this is a great choice. before I just take and come back probably is gonna go knight a3 knight c2 maybe dude tied up for the prime thing so much tied up. I can castle I'm gonna go knight d7 it's probably not the best move but I'm gonna do it anyway to avoid this 95 trick need an s bird for the prime thing so much s bird appreciate it thank you so much s bird I'm gonna castle here I can go knight c5. You can also go a5 here. Knight c5 back. Go e5 and rook e8. Oh, he's got knight g5. Fuck. Back. Go here, hit the pawns. I have this and hitting the pawn. Okay, bishop f1. Um, let's just go e4. Go all in for the kill. Let's take. I take back with a knight. Knight c3. Looks very bad. This looks very, very bad for white. Thank you to Vitro for the three months. Thank you so much to Vitro. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Keep grinding. Yeah, I'm trying to just improve my rating. Let's go here and here. Very, very bad position for white. There's also a bishop h6 problem, too. Um, I guess I'll take... I don't know which way is right. I'll just take with this. Rook. I, there, I thought bishop h6 was a problem. Maybe it's not. He has knight e3. I do have rook d2 here, which is pretty dirty. Actually, this is really nasty. Let's just do it in bishop e4, maybe. Oh, but then he's got knight g5. Here. I feel like I might have made a mistake here, but I should be better still. Let's go here, hit the pawn. Okay, I have knight d4 here, which looks decent. Um... Let's just go for it, because I have knight e2. I can take with the pawn. There's also c2. There's also knight f3. There's also the f pawn. I might get castle mania on the seventh rank here. This is an absolute disaster for white. Brandon will resign here. Or he won't resign, but he, he just, just does resign. Okay, let's keep going. Someone said don't play e4, so I'll play d4 here. Since you guys want me to, I'll play the Trump house key in honor of Brandon. Let's go c3, knight e2 here. Move F4, 9, 3, 95, I guess. Queen F3 is maybe better there. Actually, why did I do this? I don't even know why I played this. Let's go here. Um, let's go rookie one. Is a queen worth two rooks? Depends on the situation, really. Depends on the situation. 
Uh, not the London? No, the Trump Housey. Because, of course, we're playing against Brandon, and everybody knows who Brandon is a fan of. I think you had a chest genie for the 22 months. I did not see any of the Shack match. No, I didn't. Okay, I mean, he does this. I mean, I can obviously take and go Queen F2, I guess. Oh, is there some weird trick with... No, there isn't. I just take. I go here. Or Queen D2. I think I'm going to go Queen D2. Goes knight d5. Okay, so it's pretty standard position here. Not a whole lot happening. I'd say roughly equal. I don't like f6 though, because I feel like they're gonna be problems. He has a he has a diagonal to be fair. Let's go here. I want to go c4 and b3 maybe. Interesting. Interesting. Actually, let's just go. Let's just go here and trade. In e5, I just take, of course. Although maybe that's not so pleasant. Eh, unclear. I guess I'll pre-move it. It's a safe pre-move. If knight c3, I just go queen e3, and I'm probably better. Or e6 as well. You take, so I mean, I I guess I have to take. I guess I go... I have rook e5 here, but I think the idea is I play against the weak pawn. Maybe I can claim an advantage. Not really clear cut, but I think I can. Let's go here, target the pawn. It's an ISO. I can go rook c2, rook f2 to guard against these threats on the diagonal. All right, let's see. I can play... I think I'm going to go here and rook f2 and knight f5. Knight f5 looks good. H3 looks good. I think knight f5 just looks like the obvious move, though. Because now I'm threatening to take. If rook d1, I just take e5 and take. I can play queen g3 here. I can also play just like h3 or h4. I think I'm just going to play h3, consolidate my advantage here on this side of the board. So happy to see you streaming at this time. It allows me to catch them after work. Yeah, I mean, I've been streaming longer and longer of late. So um, so that's that's the main thing. Yeah, I've been streaming longer and longer. Okay, rook d2. So I can go queen g3 here. I also have rook e2. Brandon is playing pretty well this game. He's defending quite nicely. Let's just go. Actually, let's just go here and take. Why not? Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I should have played rook f1 right away just to keep the rooks on the board. I'm such an idiot. h3 was a bad move. I should have gone rook f1. It goes rook e8. I mean, I can go queen g3. I think I'm just going to have to go king h2, though, and just play the position, which I'm not happy about. Go here. Oh, I think I'll take the file. Or rook e2. Right, let's go here. I think I'm gonna go check. It blocks. Interesting. Okay, I guess I'm happy. I mean, I gotta be happy with this end game, surely. Go here, rook d7, maybe. Go here, I guess. Oh, did I just give him e3? Wait, I can take. It was not very smart of me, but I can take a7. Okay, let's go here to attack the bishop. I guess I have check as well. Check and takes, maybe. There's bishop c4. That looks... Isn't that just a bad move? Don't I just go here? And if I go b4... Ah, b4 is bishop d5. Okay, so he has a trick, at least. Ah, so this is actually maybe just a draw, then. Hmm. But I can go b4 and rook e3. I can also go b3 and c4, maybe. Huh. I don't have all the time in the world, so I kind of have to just make up my mind here. Let's go for it. I mean, I'm sure it's... Should have gone king one first. Uh, let's go here. Go here, 95 maybe. Check and take. Check and take the bishop. There we go. There we go. There we go. Much better. Now let's go c5 again. Let's do the same line. This actually looks... I don't know if this is wrong or not, but I'm going to do this. This looks kind of weird. Uh, I think I'm going to play queen d3. I'm 
I'm sure this is this is silly, but I'm gonna try it just because it looks weird the way he played this this setup with the opening. Can't castle here, maybe Bishop F5 next move, maybe take. Thank you to Cubologist for the uh two months. Thank you so much to Cubologist, appreciate it. I'm pretty getting pretty good at this game. Yeah, I'm playing a little bit better now. Queen B3 also looks kind of nutty. Like maybe it's not bad though. I don't Okay, he's gonna he's gonna give me the two, he's gonna give me the two bishops, so we're gonna take a king e2 and we're just gonna play it, play an end game and who knows what's going on it will just develop maybe hmm what's the best way I think I don't like g6 I'm gonna do this it's pretty cheesy and pretty equal but I think it's probably the best way to play this just be solid here very very slow and cheesy go e6 and probably b6 or bishop d6 I'm gonna play oh actually this this kind of looks bad oh this might be really bad actually why did I do this I guess I'll go here and take this looks really bad I don't know why I did this I think I'm gonna play h5 I mean I'm probably gonna lose this game but I have a3 at least Knight b5 is a good move. I think I'm just gonna chuck a pawn maybe and go here in rookie eight. It's the only way I can maybe survive this. If he gets d4, I just resign on the spot. So let's go here. I think I'm okay at least. I, mean, I have rookie eight maybe next move, maybe e4 as well. No, I saw it. Take, I take. I also should have checked first, probably, but let's go here and rook b8, maybe. Go here, maybe if takes, I just take with the bishop. Takes, I can take with the rook here, maybe. I'm still worse, but I don't know if I like. I don't. I don't know if I like him doing this. Oh, right, I can't. Of course, I can't do that. So I'm gonna have to check and go like Bishop G, Bishop B8 or something. Maybe Bishop C7, D5, Bishop E5. Bishop B8, actually. Oh, no, this is right. Because now if he moves the knight to C6, then I can take the pawn. I couldn't take because he has a check and I lose the bishop. But now if he moves the knight, I take G3 and I'm probably not losing anymore. I'm still slightly worse, but I should be able to draw this if I'm smart. King e6, c6 doesn't look very attractive. Um, King c7, maybe? Go here, I guess. And obviously take f7. I guess I go rook d2. Maybe rook f2, rook d2. Okay, let's go check in here. Oh, I just, I just blundered d5. Lovely. And now I lose the game. I think I lose the game at least. Go here. Go here. Uh, here, I guess. I think I'm losing, but I'm not actually sure. I mean, I can take and go knight d7. It's actually kind of weird. I have knight d7, maybe? I think check is right, though. Let's go check in here. what he does why not knight d5 uh because he takes takes and i lose the bishop on g3 that's a mistake i can just go here take go here oh what am what did i just do also i'm not sure why i'm playing this way either
Just a draw. Or is it? Wait. I guess I'm going to try to flag Brandon now. There we go. Okay, we got the win. Another one up. Let's keep going. Still plus four. Um, play, let's play something different since everyone's mad at me for playing the... Uh, I'm um, play, playing the Spanish. Let's do this. Okay, let's go to C3, D4. Go here. Just Knight C3. All very standard. Uh, I think Bishop E3 is still correct. Takes. Takes. Here in Knight E4. Brandon's playing really, really fast. I'm trying to figure out, is this some kind of weird theory? Or... Wait a second. G3? What's his move? Go here in Knight E4, I guess. Queen d3. I kind of like my position. I actually like is probably too strong of a word to use, but I think it's completely fine. Go here and take, I guess. F1. Looks completely fine. If h4, I just go g4 here. I think I'm completely fine. Flagging is part of the game. Yes, it is. Relatively. Okay, I can go G4. Let's just go G4 here. Okay, so he takes, so I take back. Plays H3. Hey, what is this idea? If I go rook g1, I can't do anything. Um, I do kind of like rook g1. Though. Maybe, I, I want to go rook g3, so let's go here. He's also moving way too fast. Now I go 92. Yeah, Brandon's moving too fast here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make take advantage of that and get him to make some blunders. I think I have f4 now as well. If he takes, I take, and I've got, I'm getting the knight in. So he goes queen h7. Don't I have g5 here, or did I just blunder? Oh, I might have just blundered. G5 and g6, maybe? I think I'm moving too fast this game. Maybe I go knight h3 and just king g2, actually. I just, uh, something occurred to me. Maybe not so clear. He goes knight e5, so g6. He has knight g6, I guess. I have knight f6 and g6, maybe? Wait. Let's go... Yeah, let's go check. Takes, and then I go g6. I mean, go g6. He has to take, and now... Ooh, this looks really bad for, for black. I think I just... Oh, I just take because bishop g5, I can take the rook. Take the rook. I guess the take is probably the king, and I go queen f3, and again, I think I'm completely winning here. Rook e1, rook e6, next move. Looking very, very good here. Okay, I guess let's just go... I mean, rook g3 looks pretty clean just to take the pawn. Rook e1 also is good with queen e2. That might have been simpler, but he resigns. Let's go again. Four to go to adoption. Uh, let's just go d5. I'll play c5, d4 again. Keep going. Let's go d4 and takes. Uh, I got a bad position. Again, I don't really believe in this somehow. It just doesn't look right. Why do I assume... Why do I think this is wrong? I just do for some reason. So I'm just going to go back to basics. Let's just go back to basics. Now let's go here. Castles. There's a streamer I know who wants to play. What, Benjamin? Yeah. Um, Knight g5. I guess I just castle. I don't know if I understand Knight g5. Kind of a weird... Go here. 
I mean, I guess he wants 94. Okay, so I mean, I guess there's a point. But it still looks very wrong. I'm gonna go a5 here. I want to go knight c5. It's 94. Now he is inviting me to play f5, e5 here. I can also play a4. I'm just gonna go a4 here. It goes rook b1, so now I'm going to play f5. Got to go back. Now I go knight c5, and I mean, I just assumed I'm much better here. I'm going to go e5 next move. If b4, I just take the pawn. Queen c2 is no good. Queen e2, I guess. If I go e5, he does with b4, but so what? I just take. Hmm. And then maybe e4 anyway. Okay, so obviously I take. I have e4 here. Or b4 knight a4 looks disastrous go e4 b4 knight a4 looks crushing takes 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 bishop f5 looks bad maybe not that bad still should be better for me okay take yeah i'll take i'll go here question is do i have knight b4 this is the big question i also have queen f6 here maybe wait no queen f6 work f4 let's go here Why does it Magnus play on chess.com? Uh, I think it has to do with uh, basically chess 24 and their, their contractual obligations and so forth. Okay, so he takes. So, I mean, I have to take. I do have rookie 8 and rookie 1 here. I'm not sure if this is winning, honestly, but rookie 8, rookie eight looks good, but queen e8 actually looks great, too. Actually, I like queen e8 a lot. Let's just go queen e8. Go king h7. I've got rookie 2 here. Looks really quite poor for white. Quite poor. I'm going to take with the rook here. I've got rookie two, rookie one. I've got rookie two as well. Okay, let's just go here. Attack the bishop. I think I can just go like rook two maybe. Or just rook. Actually, this. Wait. Pawn is hanging? Not really. Because I, I can just go rookie two and d3, d2. Or not. Wait. Rookie 2, bishop e1, d3, king f1 is not as clean as I would have liked for it to be, so I'm just going to take the pawn. Let's try to win this. Let's go here and take the pawn. Okay, now I think, I, I mean, b5 is a move. I'm going to go d3. I don't know if it's right, but it looks reasonable. It's rook b2, rook c2. I should have gone rook b2 first, maybe. Go here, attack the bishop. I've got rook c4. I also have d2. Go d2 and rook c4. Can't take with the bishop because of rook d4, so we have to trade. And this, I'm going to assume that this is winning. I just have an outside pawn. I don't see how he's stopping. I just go b2. Uh, let's just go here. Okay, we get the dub. Let's keep going. Seven up. Uh, let's go back to d4 this time. I'm gonna play uh a. Let's go here. Play like a Fabiano, like a Fabiano marijuana would play. Let's go bishop d3 and and knight. Uh, I'm gonna play knight g2 here with queen c2. With castles here. Um, Fabiano always does well in these lines. Always does really well. Knight e4. I thought this order was slightly wrong, but maybe it's not. Um, I can play knight g3. He goes knight f6. I'm not thrilled by this. I'm going to take and go g4. This is probably wrong. But it looks kind of interesting, at least. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about... Uh, we're talking about a Bobiano lasagna. That's who we're talking about. Um, and take. I can also play knight g3. This doesn't look great for black. I'm just going to go here and rook d4, knight e4. This looks actually really quite bad for... Uh, quite, ba quite bad for black. I'm going to go h3, consolidate everything. I can just take. Knight e4 is coming in next move. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely just much better here. He is to not make a blunder. If knight e4 takes queen e4, rook c8, queen c2. I mean, it is a pawn after all. But I don't actually love it that much, so I'm going to sidestep. I'm going to go like... 
Uh, I'm gonna go here. I may rook eight, rook d1 next move. Let's go here. If b5, I can obviously go queen a5. That's my idea, at least. I have knight e4. I've got knight f5. Okay, now this hangs a pawn here. The question is, there are tricks involved. Uh, so I don't want to take a6. I guess I'll, I can play a3, maybe. Just simple, simple chess here with queen b4 next move or queen a6. If bishop c4, I just take the pawn. It does it. Oh, I misplayed this. Shoot, he gets the bishop in. Let's just go here and king a1, I guess. Mm. I thought I could take the pawn, but he just takes, 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 and it's bishop b3, and I get mated. Mm, let's see what he does. Okay, he goes bishop d3. Mm, I assume I just sidestep. My knife is coming to d6 here. I can play f3, maybe. Go f3. I'm threatening to take. I have h4, g5 as well. Looks very tough to play. Fabiano Pagliacci? Yes, exactly. Um... Uh, yeah. Yeah, Fettuccine Carbonara is, uh, he is a very strong player. No, no, we're not, we're not, there's no, no joking about that. Um, let's go rookie two. Oh, I put the, I should put the rook on C1 there. Okay, let's go, um, oh, this was stupid by me. I guess now I have to go F4. Oh, F4 now, I have knight D6 next move. It's actually quite dangerous for black. Actually, like, maybe very dangerous, in fact. First of all, I have queen B4, knight D6, and takes. Now let's go queen b4. Let's just simplify this out of, out of the danger zone. I go here. Of course, he's threatening a5 to trap the rook. He takes. I mean, I can... Oh, uh, he's going to sack an exchange here. I, wait a second. Oh, this is actually tricky. Wait. So if I take, he takes. Made a mistake. I guess I have to take. I do have b3 maybe. b3 a5 and I just have nothing. I guess I just mm, let's just take. Let's just go here. I'm gonna take and play play rook b4. Rook b4. I'm trying to take this pawn on, on a c4 if I can. Oh, I just blundered this. Check. Here. I mean, I still have a check. Check. Oh, now I just blundered this too. All right, that's just me. Terrible game. Horrible. Completely fine, but I got too low on time there at the end. Thought for like 15 seconds too long in that middle game. Right when I sack the rook, that's when I need to move quicker. Uh, no, Fabio, not Fabiano, sorry. Uh, he does this. I'm going to sack. That's probably wrong. I'm going to go h5 and rook h6. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's go f6 and e5. Just build a big center here. 
probably is bad but i'm gonna go for it i'm fanboying fabio not exactly no it's that there's uh there's just this running joke with fabiano nicknames me one okay i can play bishop h3 here just win the rook go here i mean i'm just gonna take and go g5 i guess go here g5 is kind of a bit too much i should have like moved my king or castle first is brand as good as ali resin no i mean he's he's not no he's not as good at blitz he okay, goes rook g1 which i'm kind of surprised to see honestly I, i'm sure there was better than that i'll go here can't trade because the e4 checks now knight f1 ah he has an idea though wants to just put the knife on f5 which actually i don't know why i didn't see that before um uh, maybe i go c4 actually i think i'm just gonna play d4 here and just move my king i'm gonna play this like a computer actually i've noticed computers really don't care about the uh piece placement that much they just like they, they kind of don't care and they just defend a position um go here go here i'm gonna start pushing the h pawn just because now i have h3 ideas at some point I'm gonna go queen h5 maybe i've got g4 or h3 here uh this doesn't look right actually somehow granite's kind of misplayed this a little bit i think but h3 here again like i said this this is a very computerish kind of game computers very oftentimes they'll give up like uh two pieces for a rook and they'll just ignore everything that's happening on one side of the board I don't understand this move either okay so i take and go rook g2 what exactly is happening i mean actually no let's just go here Why, what what am, what am i worried about now i can go queen e2 knight f7 i just take or i go king g8 i go king g8 i'm fine or i take and go rook h7 i'm fine c3 okay so i go here go h2 i mean this looks terrible for white this bishop and king are on the wrong side of the board just very very strange game let's go d4 win a queen for free there is no free queen what do you mean go here i thought i was winning in this game so i'm gonna oh all well, i want to do is this one let's go here and bishop d3 okay we'll go check then go here knight g2 just keep it very very simple okay i feel like i want to go for something frisky so i'm gonna play knight g2 and just give this up and go like bishop b5 and just castles uh so so actually brandon just chooses to decline so i just cast here of knight f4 next move all pretty normal i also have f4 maybe this is a little bit weak okay so i have to take i can't take with the knight because bishop h3 let's just go c4 Bishop f5 is a strange move. It's like no, but knight h4, I have, knight h4, I have um, I have tricks. So he takes. So let's just go here. I'm just gonna take with the queen. Go rook b1. Very very simple chess. Let's go here. Go here. Attack the pawn. A lot of pressure. Knight d3 is coming in. This is a dream position. Let's just take. Let's go here. Knight e5. Knight c5 very very difficult for black to play okay there's knight c5 now i win the pawn on b7 and with it i should win this game yeah it's just a disaster for brandon i think he's going to resign the game pretty soon okay he goes queen g4 i think i was just take the pawn i could have played h3 too but no no need to i can always throw the luft later on I think I'm just gonna yeah now I'm gonna create create Luft for my king as the Germans would say Lufthansa which is which means air 
Uh, I have 94 here. I can take a pawn. I mean, but you know what? We don't want to allow any counterplay. So the easiest way to just be be a big meanie is not rook b1. 94, 94 looks like the obvious move. I think I'm just going to go here, though. Just guard and queen b3. My goal is to win this game and make Brandon suffer where he gets no counterplay. He's down a pawn, much worse. And all that I want to do here is make him suffer. So queen a6, attack the pawn. A rook d4, I have f4, which, by the way, I did not see at first glance. But... Uh, still winning. Lufty, Lufty, Lufthaven. It's Lufthansa, right? Isn't okay, let's go here, guard the rook. Now it's C6 is weak. I'm just gonna go to E5 and end this game. Still hitting 3300 seems unlikely. Yeah, I mean it's not realistic. Uh, I'm just gonna take. If he takes, I just take, take, and move the king. If he goes rook c8, I'll sack the queen for the two towers. You know, five doesn't really concern me. Mm, let's just go here, I guess, and queen b5. Two towers, too much. Wait, isn't this a blunder? Don't I have knight f4 here? Yeah, let's go here. He can't take to the pin. I mean, he has rook c8, I guess, but it's pretty, pretty miserable here. Suffering is, uh, is miserable. Yeah. All right, you guys, I need to use the restroom very quickly. So I'm going to go use the restroom and then we're going to keep rolling right along. I'm going to try to keep pushing for 33, even if, even if I'm completely delusional. So I'll be right back.